Hello, this is Ellen Goldberg, and welcome to the Language of the Hand. In this segment, we're going to look at the thumb. The three parts of the thumb is a miniature palm reading. As I may have mentioned before, in ancient China and India, there were systems of divination based on the thumb alone, because in the thumb is contained the three basic elements that really uh, create the personality of a human being. What is their will or personal delition like? That belongs to the top phalange, as you can see in this uh, visual that we have up. There is a second middle phalange, which talks about reasoning ability and a little bit about how people think. And thirdly, and very importantly, the bottom phalange is really the great muscle and the mount of Venus, the muscle that moves the thumb but it also tells us about a person's emotional capacity. In another segment, we'll learn how to measure the thumb for size. But I would say the thumbs that are on the small size are more emotional and ruled by the heart. And thumbs that are overly large, they're ruled by the head and by reason. And they tend more to be leaders and very independent, where small thumbs are influenceable. It's not a very bad idea to have a nice, standard, medium-sized thumb because then you get to partake of both large thumb and small thumb qualities. When the top phalange is conical, if the tip of it is nice and round, the person's going to have an artistic, creative, emotional approach to life. If it's square, you better approach them in a practical way. And if you want something, have your facts and figures ready because they like order and system and reality. And if it is a spatula tip on that top phalange and it's wide and full and flares out, why they are on the go all the time, constantly thinking of original ways to expend their energy and they only know how to do it their way. There is no other way for them. If it is pointed, and I happen to have a pointed thumb, well, these people are idealistic, very inspirational. The will may not be so weak, but they can tap a will greater than their own, and they're very dreamy people. That thumb tip will show you the general outlook on life. And if you want to communicate well with a person, it's very good to know what their general outlook is because you know how to approach them. Because you're gonna then speak their language. Some people have very long middle phalanges and you know they do a lot of reasoning. Sometimes, and we want it to be a bit longer than will, but sometimes it's so much longer than will that all they do is think and not act. Sometimes it's short, way too short, just kind of squeezed in there between the top and bottom parts of the thumb. And you know, they're not doing that much reasoning that their will may be so that they act and they may regret it later because they're not thinking things out bottom part of the phalange, we can tell by how high the Mount of Venus rises. Is it full? Is it round? Does it almost look like it's bursting and been stung by bees? Or is it flat? People whose Mount of Venus is relatively flat are not so sentimental. They're a little drier. And they don't really think that love is the most important thing in the world to them or they may love, but they're not demonstrative. All one needs, and mine is a nice average size, I have to say, luckily I'm average in many things. You know, many people think average is just like the worst, but it's not, because every hand has something in it that is unique and which will be the little turning point or unique thing in their personality. Some have just one or two unique things, some are very unique. But to have just a nice roundness to the Mount of Venus, that's all one needs to be able to give and receive love, love emotion, love caring. When it's really full, then you know that the person is filled with 
juice and thinks that love and pleasure is the most important thing in the world. They live for love, they live for pleasure, and they know that life should be a joy. So with these three items, you get a little window right into the nature of a person. Thank you.